and welcome to a new um, video and of course a new collection um, in this collection I'm gonna show you the art crush number 14 and which is um, a very pastelic um, collection and it's all about Easter and um, let's go through the folders and see what's inside um, here we have the um, the previous of the whole collection. We have um, four packs and um, They can be combined with each other in a perfect way So you get artsy bits and pieces out of the box frames a mix of a different papers solid papers and some um, painted impasto papers some um, a pack with a transfers gessos and loops and of course some really cool um, word arts um, let's jump into the folders we have two um, when you ha get the downloads you get two packs of uh, the artsy bits and pieces called a and b so uh, they are split that you don't have two huge files to download and um, this is what you get now here are the artsy bits and i think they turned out very cute with the little bunnies um very artsy i think but with a lot of flowers and watercolors and um scribbles and um attached some word arts we have here also um watercolor flowers and also those kind of branches um, they look very cool I think um, some bows you get and a lot of bunnies I think and this is the second pack and you get here some Easter eggs and um, in different ways also some gesso pieces here and there and leaves um, a ribbon frame and some strings and some word arts as well this is the artsy bits and pieces pack then we have the out of the box um, frame um, frames they are fully layered so when you open them you get um, layers and um, you have the mask on the bottom and then you have a second mask on the top and when you start to clip um, an image onto the mask on the bottom this is what I prefer to start with um, you can pick your image and clip it onto the mask on the bottom then press command J to duplicate the image drag it on the top layer above the mask on the top layer and also clip that onto that mask and that's it this is how all of my out of the box frames work when you try to or when you want to um, scale the image clip um, press on the first layer on top and then hold the command key on your keyboard press command T so you get the transforming tool um, and then you can scale your image to the size you want like this what you also can do you go to your layers palette and use the tool here so both images are now um, stick together so when you only move one layer both um, images will stick together and nothing will happen that that um, the image on the bottom layer is on a different um, place than the one on the top layer so everything is hold together and nothing will happen and um, these are the out of the box frames and you get four different ones in this collection 
and later I'm going to show you how to build up a little bit of a layout with all the um, files. So this is the um, paper mix. First you get some artsy papers. You get four different artsy papers. These are these ones. And then you have this ornament. And then we have the paint ones and they are really uh, great. I think with the impasto. So if you like, maybe for a card for Easter, you can use that one and only add um, a word art and you are perfectly done with a sweet Easter card for your loved ones. I think that one is something you can use how it is, print it out and hang it up on your wall. Maybe add a little word art or a, a little bit something you want to say or so. so really those um, papers with the impasto style are some art for itself I, I need to say okay then we have some solid papers like this one here a little bit more structure and texture and one with um, a watercolor splash and another one with watercolor splash so these are the papers in this pack and I think this one is pretty pretty cool I love this blending of the gesso pieces and this bird and um, this leaf hanging down so I really love this um, paper also that one is cool well um, okay then we have um, the transfers loops and gesso pieces so these are gesso pieces. Um, I recently um, created them and also made a video which you can see um, in my YouTube channel or on my Facebook um, page. It's called In the Studio, I guess. So you can see how I created in with real paint and um, old papers, um, vintage papers from old books. Out and created papers and out of them I created those um, gesso pieces for you so maybe you enjoy to watch that video and then this um, we have these loops here they are already decorated for you um, this is how they look there is a little a bunny hanging down here a little charm and here are some already finished created um, pieces you can add on your pages and decorate them so uh, this is the pack with the transfers loops and gesso and then we have the word arts um, I have two different versions of a word art it's one a black one and then we have a second one with um, which is um, more with um, um, wood. Um, that's need to just no, it works not that I can make two um, rows only to that you can see the difference better. But okay. <laughs> um, so we have the wood version, and then we have the black version, and a lot of spring, Easter blessings, hello spring, honey bunny. Um, then new spring life, pure poetry, spring fever, spring has sprung, uh, sweet days, and of course you get also the word art um, as brushes, so you can use them in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements um, as a brush file. So this is it. This is um, a five packs of the art crush number 14 and now I'm gonna uh, do with you a little bit of a layout um, I'm going to use um, a paper a very neutral paper maybe we use this little pinkish one and for that we um, use also already this um, out of the box frame we have just created so this is the um, out of the box frame and um, 
maybe we need to scale a little bit more the house so it's more in focus here and I think I want to use maybe a different a more bluish um, let's try something we can use that one I didn't prepare anything before now so I'm a little bit um, in well trying now so we blend that maybe that color burn doesn't work maybe overlay no that doesn't work as well so we go to maybe color burn and what I now like is on that one that it kind of, it's like you have the sky and um, like a rain rain coming down from the sky and the mood of the image itself is also like it's raining and um, dusty and the greenish here of the bottom of in, in the bottom of the the, the image um, comes again here in the on the top in this watercolor floaty um, paper which we have just um, used okay and now we take a look what we can use here out of the artsy bits and pieces because I think we do now create not a very um, <laughs> um, Easter type um, layout so we can place that in on top here and what is now disturbing is this part because it overlays here on the um, on the old barn so we going to add here a mask and then we go to our uh, brushes I don't know what I have loaded here in my brush sets so let's see that we get rid of that what is overlaid okay we need to go that the foreground color is black so we can see that now here on the little um, mask icon here and now we when we paint over you can see it deletes that artsy bit from the barn so this is it I think it really looks nice um, let's try some Thing a little bit further with the barn a little bit mm, bigger and now I'm going to duplicate again this barn and I'm going to to use to use this polygon lasso tool I zoom in and only clip over here randomly over and do a mask so that we have I want only on top here this little bit the the roof of the barn okay so I need to remove this part that the frame is again um, free so let's erase that and also here we can softly go over that a little bit of the, the, the artsy bit comes through here only a bit not much over here that we only have this crispy sharp uh, rooftop here on top of this um, Polaroid frame and now we have different um, kind of um, blending types here on this um, out of the box frame. We have this crisp sharp line here and then we have some floaty. We have here this blending on the bottom. So totally different and this is what uh, um, uh, the page makes very interesting and you can explore each time something new when you when you look at the um, 
at the page and um, what we also can try now it's uh, we can move a little bit the out of the box frame maybe it makes it a little bit more interesting when we maybe go more to the um, left side with it or we go to more to the uh, right side um, more down so you can you can try around with the elements you have um, created where and on which place it will look best so um, I think I think I like this one the most because uh, the paper does have a little bit from um, top um, uh, left side to the t uh, right side so, um, the, the floating of the colors of the background so I think that floats kind of better <laughs> um, maybe we should go to the transfers and check here if we find an another piece we can add a little it shouldn't be much it shouldn't be much only I think that's pretty nice here and let's turn that a little bit around we we, we we shouldn't take much stuff on the page. Hmm. Let's try a loop, but I'm not sure if that will work. If that's already too much. Let's place it on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I like is this part here, but I don't don't like that one. So maybe we can hide that behind this roof and remove that part. So we again make a clipping mask. Always work with the clipping mask because that's the part what you don't destroy with the clipping mask your original placed file. So if you don't, if you are not happy with um, erasing parts, you can always go back. If you erase something directly on the image you have placed, it's gone. And um, then you need to to replace it maybe again so always try to work with masking and um, let's remove that here on the mask you always need to be sure that you you are on the mask icon itself that it's a little bit surrounded with this um, frame so you are sure that you are really um, working on on the mask itself and if you would be now unhappy with what you have erased now you can go to the mask with a right click on the mask itself and delete layer mask and et voila you have your original file again and nothing it was got um it was um destroyed so that's why you should really start to work always um with masks um Yes, I think that's now pretty nice here. We have this little um, detail here and we have a little bit of focus here on top and that's pretty pretty enough for this for this page play for this page. <laughs> Sorry. So um, I think this pure poet poetry um, um, word art would would fit pretty nicely here so let's place that here or we place that here what you now can do is you can start to go on on your layer setting and create a drop shadow and what you also can create and try is um, use a stroke and you go not inside you choose outside color white and make it a little bit bigger you can see now that the word art starts to be more standing out so this is up to you how you like to have a, a word art on your page how big it should be how 
um, prominent it should be stand on your page um, you can place it underneath so then the loop goes on uh, over it um, I am not sure if I like that here maybe I like it a little more here I think that's nicer here so we have the more focus here on top and um, I think this is it so um, you saw now how fast you can create a really nice um, artsy page with not much effort and knowledge and uh, because you get so many uh, already created elements from my collections and um, I hope you enjoyed this little video and um, I like to see your layouts especially in my um, apology group or you can also add your layouts to my gallery at the lily pad so um, I hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up that would be awesome um, we're gonna see us in the next video bye